Uh, I think it's been confirmed that the only reason Shell doesn't talk is out of spite. Glaus would absolutely just completely out of pettiness craft a craft a synthetic body like a thick, thick metallic body with thick thighs and just big boobs just to fucking make <laughs> fucking make Shell jealous. No, I, I think it would just be like one cup larger. I think I saw a comic of that before. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Would not be surprised. Yeah, same here. Yeah. You know, it's a comic of like where Thanos just absolutely just torments one dude named David for like an entire for like his entire life, every day on his birthday. Damn. I thought I thought you were gonna go a different route with that. Now, just look, if you haven't seen it, like, it's a really great comic. Like, look up Thanos and David. <laughs> it's just a comic where it's just, like, like, Thanos pulls, uh, go, pulls up to, like, uh, like a sleeping baby David who has just been born. And he, and he goes, <laughs> he just takes away the, uh, the blanket on his crit side and just goes, This is the first of many, David. <laughs> and it's like, when he's, and it's like, uh, later on, he basically, uh, like, David doesn't want to have any more birthday parties because the monster keeps showing up. <laughs> he basically <laughs> Thanos just shows up, destroys the f f destroys the car, and kills the family dog. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendations. That went from Marvel to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure really fast. <laughs> Later on, he's just talking to his girl. He, like David's just texting his girlfriend. Thanos pulls the phone away from him. He's just like, "Why? Why are you doing this? No one believes me." And just Thanos, quiet, texting on the phone. <laughs> he sends a text, tosses it back to David. He's just like, "You're never going to walk that con back. You're a terrible boy boyfriend. Happy birthday!" And then at a party, birthday party, he fucking <laughs> Thanos poisons the poisons the punch, and everyone dies except for David. Just don't drink that. Happy birthday. Jesus Christ. 25 years old, he, like, Thanos burns down his grad school. God. And then there was, like, there was a pretty great panel where, um, Thanos just, where, like, uh, Thanos is just peering over a cubicle with, like, uh, David just walking out of, uh, like, a business with, or his office with, uh, just a box and everything. It's just, like, Thanos is just, like, Bad news, David. He's just like, what, you got me fired? It's like, no, bad luck. And then he goes, your cat is dead. Dude, at what Jesus. point do you just give up? <laughs> but you say that because, like, at some point, it's just like, uh... Like, Th Thanos visits David again. Just, it's just like, David is in this, like, rat hole of an apartment. Just nothing else. And he's just like, huh. So you got nothing left. It's just like, yeah, I don't. And David's like, well, you, like, I bet you're wondering just like why I haven't given up, why I haven't ended my life, why I just continue to keep going. Well, I'll tell you, every day when I wake up, Thanos punches the ceiling, pulls down a water main, and like water floods the apartment. Nope, don't care. See you next year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> He's a villain. But that it's just evil for it's just it's just doing the most petty shit for like the most fucking it's just petty shit for some of the pettiest reasons. Evil for evil's sake. Holy hell! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of the story of where uh, Thanos did this did. Uh, Basically ruined this girl's life uh, and her entire future by just. <laughs> it was basically just moving her out of the way of like one meeting bumping into one person <laughs> and then still a life of mediocrity. <laughs> and on her deathbed, he just pops up showing her everything she could have been if he hadn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> that is just a hey, bastard. <laughs> The healthy human mind doesn't wake up in the morning thinking this is its last day on Earth. But I think that's a luxury, not a curse. To know you're close to the end is a kind of freedom. Good time to take inventory.
What sort of fucking Baldur's Gate 3 dialogue was that? <laughs> it's because it's the oh, British shit. accent that made you think of that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All this, yeah. <laughs> all, this, all this talk about Thanos reminds me of that one comic where Darkseid just shows up in somebody's like living room, just sitting there. I don't remember. I don't remember what that was. It was just like a menacing ass villain just chilling in a chair waiting for somebody to come home. That's like if like that's like if you came home from work and there's just Lucifer. Just sitting Not, there. I guess today, Satan. Do you ever see the, the the video of like a bunch of like horror movie like monsters just going shopping at a convenience store? No. I need to see Look, that. Man, horror icon's it... gonna have an auto life too. Huh? The worst part is I can see this in the Worthy Kid style. <laughs> yes. I can, I can. I can visualize this. I posted the dark side picture. 